Oh, it can be difficult asking for what you want. It can feel greedy, but it doesn't have to. It means not settling for less than what you want or need. But how do you do it? Negotiation expert Linda Swindling here with the tips. And I, every time I see you swindling, you're a negotiator. Yeah, yeah, recovering <laughs> attorney. It was, but you know what? It came with a pretty good guy. So the name, <laughs> the name isn't perfect, but the guy pretty much is. All yeah. right, you've got a new book. We're going to get to that in a second. But first, let's talk about this: the idea of knowing why people are saying no. We think we know. You say maybe we're a little misguided here. Exactly. We think, you know, they told me no because I didn't give them enough information. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, maybe it was the wrong timing. I didn't ask at the right time. Sure. Or the big one, you know, they didn't have the budget. They just didn't have the budget at that time. But believe it or not, even though we all think that, we, we did a survey of almost 1,200 people, and they said that's not the case. You want to know why people really tell you no? They don't like me. <laughs> well, you know what? That's the second answer on the list. They don't like you. They don't trust you. Can you believe that? Not you, right, Steve? But, <laughs> but they don't like us. They don't trust us yet. Okay. The number one answer, though, is we were asking them for something they couldn't give us. Sure, yeah. Right? So it's inappropriate. So yeah. you, I, you, know, you go into the hardware store and you ask for a chicken fried steak. Right, not going to have it. Not going to have it. You, when I used to practice law, you would come up and say, you know, hey, I really want him to respect me. I want her to apologize. No judge I have ever met is yeah. going to say, you know, hey, go give him a hug. Hug it out. Say you're sorry. Uh, I think that we feel very selfish sometimes asking for what we sure. want. So you say ask on behalf of someone else. Right. We are, you know, two-thirds of us feel a lot more comfortable asking on, be on behalf of someone else. So that's a trick. It's a workaround. So think to yourself, if I ask this question, who else could it benefit? Right. I get more vacation, my family could benefit. I ask this question in a meeting, you know, everybody else might hear what what the answer is and maybe that was a tough decision so i'm actually helping other people and i'm not being so selfish okay your next tip petrifies me you say practice asking for example ask somebody to cut in line at the supermarket are you kidding me i know right <laughs> and that's the biggest one people would rather ask for money they'd rather <laughs> ask to borrow money than to cut in line it's crazy but yeah ask everywhere you go so then when it's a big ask it's not right. so scary. Well, because the idea is you think that the person's going to berate you in front of the car. I could never go to the store again. Here's what I do ask, though. I, I'll ask if I can we use a competitor's coupon or an expired coupon. Yeah, absolutely. Do that or ask somebody for help. A lot of us don't sure, ask anybody yeah. for help. I mean, how know? many times am I in a store and they say, can I help you? And I really do need help, but I just think, eh, I don't, I don't, you know, or, I don't want you. Or they're help. on their phone. Go right. over there and say, hey, can you help me? The other thing, uh, ask and stop talking. This is a great tip. Oh, yeah. You've got it. Just ask. Even though you feel uncomfortable, think about it. They, you know, you've been thinking about this request for a while. This new person, they haven't heard your request. Sure. They need to think. So give them a little bit of time. And if you get it, stop. You know, we do that in journalism all the time. When you're interviewing somebody, you ask a question and stop talking because people feel compelled to fill the silence. Linda Swindling, always good to see you. Your new book, Ask Outrageously, The Secret to Getting What You Really Want. You can head to our website to go to Linda's website, journeyonfox4news.com is where you'll find that link.